Hey, it's Sean David here, and I have a brand new Saturday data drop for you. And this week, we are upping the ante. So instead of giving you just a small snippet of our data, we're going to be dumping all of our financials. So you're going to get all of our sales and all of our cost data. Now, what we're going to be focusing on next week in the live stream, we're having Matt Bratton, who is an analytics VP, coming on to help us build out a financial model and maybe even a forecast. So this is an opportunity for you to do your homework, roll up your sleeves, and get your hands dirty in some real data. We are still in the middle of testing our ads, so it's a little bit of an interesting time for us to build out a financial model. But the exercise here is for you to get your hands on some real data and see how a true expert thinks about financial analysis. Without further ado, I'm gonna pull up the data source and walk you through the data that we're dropping this week. All right, so here is the data drop. So we have six different tabs, but re we're really gonna focus just on the first two. So in order for you to build out our financial model, you just need to focus on our sales and our cost data source. All of these other tabs just give additional information. So part of the problem we're having right now is that we're in the middle of testing our ads and we don't have any direct conversions from our advertising. So Thank you so much for you guys who are following the podcast along with the live stream series, because we have already broken even on our startup costs just from our organic reach alone. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. But let's go over to our sales data source and let me explain what's going on here. So we have our sales broken down by month here. And what you're going to have to do is tie this back to our cost data source. So let me explain and unpack my business model a little bit. So I designed this startup to mitigate risk. So it is a super lean startup. I mean, of course, the main objective is for us to make money, but a very strong secondary objective is that I'm using this as an educational tool in my Greensboro College lectures and also too with the, the live stream. So you guys, if you've been watching the live streams, you have probably downloaded some of our marketing data and done, um, you know, some type of Tableau analysis or a dashboard. So the cost here, there are two fixed and two variable. So the startup cost, it was $1,500 for us to build the website. Um, I actually did quite a bit of the development and implementation myself, which was a huge learning experience. Um, next, we have a $100 a month hosting cost. And then let's get into the variable marketing cost. So over the last three months, we've spent nearly $2,000 in marketing. Now, I have negotiated out a deal with Fungi Marketing, who I am personal friends with the CEO of that agency, and we have negotiated terms of I'm not going to have to pay any upfront marketing fees, but they get 10% of top line revenue. So this is something that's going to be interesting in building out the financial model. So how are you going to factor that into you know, building out the future forecast here? So just to go over the, the next few tabs, I don't want to spend too, too much time on this, but we have our ad spend data. So this is details broken down by month. We have our buyer personas. If you want to build a more advanced model, feel free to incorporate that into the financial model. We have our campaign data. And one thing to note here is that I did spend about $500 promoting the YouTube live stream series so that I could effectively pitch the Dean to um, get the applied marketing class for next semester. So I guess we could categorize that as an awareness campaign. And then finally, we have our website flow behavior or behavioral website flow chart. So this is looking at people who have come onto the website and then, you know, where they click around. So I don't want to spend too much time on the additional information, but so focus on those first two tabs and the challenge is for you to build out a viable financial model. Well, I hope you're excited about the data and you're going to participate. So the way that you participate is do your analysis, you can take a screenshot of your Excel work and then post it on LinkedIn with the hashtag GC Analytics. At the beginning of this week's, or this coming week's live stream, I'm going to pull up that hashtag and we're going to have me and Matt take a look at your work. So this is a great opportunity, not only for you to get your hands on some real data, but you know, apply some critical thinking because I have not laid this out for you. I mean, you're going to have to make some assumptions. You're going to have to maybe even do some of your own research. But if you post this, 
we may review your work and then you'll have some, you know, some criticism on how you could think about it even better. So the one thing that I do ask is for you to please share this with someone that you know. So if you know someone who is looking to get into the analytics space or is just interested in data, please tag them or share this video with them. This will help broaden our scope and maybe even get some more sales. So if you want to give back to us, that's the best thing you can do. With all that being said, good luck on the challenge.